Hello everyone, welcome to the Robotics Unschool. Before getting into the video, subscribe our channel and click bell icon for more videos in science and robotics. Hello guys, I am Ayn and interest from the Robotics Unschool. Today we are going to see about the touch plate alarm. The specialty of this project is if someone touches our home compound or gate, the circuit begins to work and it produces heavy buzzer sound. Mostly thief enter backside of our home. So if they touch the compound, the alert sound will be produced. It is nothing but a burglar alarm. Let us see how it is working. We have to take two wires from the output of the circuit. With the help of that circuit, we have to connect toward the compound or gate. Our human body is a good conductor of electricity. If someone touches the compound, the sound will be produced because our human body contains 70% of salt content. Let us see how to do practically. The things required are IC55 one piece, 10 m resistor one piece, 100K resistor one piece, 1K resistor one piece, 10 UF capacitor one piece, buzzer and wires. This is the circuit diagram of touch plate alarm. Either we can use LED or buzzer, whereas we can both use uh, both of them. Now we are going to the practical section. As far as the circuit diagram, first we should take the IC table 5 and fix it on the breadboard. From the second pin, we have to connect one wire and leave it as it is. And according to this diagram, from the negative terminal, we have to connect another wire for a touch plate wires. We have to connect the 10 amp resistor on the second pin and we have to connect it to the positive terminal. From the sixth pin, we have to connect the capacitor. The longer pin is positive and the shorter pin is negative. So from the sixth, we have to connect the positive pin. connect it to the negative of the breadboard on the 7th pin we have to connect 100k resistor to the positive terminal now we have to inter interconnect 6th pin and 7th pin as per as the circuit From the 4th pin and 8th pin, we have to give to the positive terminal. From the 3rd pin, we have to connect to the positive terminal of a buzzer. From the negative, we have to connect the negative terminal to the negative of the breadboard. Let's see how it is working. Yeah, it's working. From these two wires, we have to connect throughout the compound or gate. Hope you guys enjoy this video, share with your friends, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get the instant notifications from our channel. Thank you.